Hey y'all. <laughs> it's your girl Shy. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit that button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Like. And let's go ahead and get into this. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me for daily inspiration and motivation because we got to keep our spirits high. Today we're going to be making vegan vegan rasta pasta all right y'all that's vegan i want to go ahead and put a disclaimer in i'm gonna recommend to use this but use this at your own risk okay because it is spicy now we're gonna go ahead and start off now these are portobello mushrooms and i think baby bell mushrooms now don't worry i'm gonna put all the ingredients below um in the description box and also step by step so if you miss anything in the video it'll be right below um, and while you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Now, these mushrooms are so meaty. Oh, my goodness. They're so thick. These portobellas, they are literally beautiful. I already have them washed and everything like that. So, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut them. We're going to cut them as if they are meat. Now, y'all, I uh, <laughs> forgot to put the seasonings. I forgot to record me seasoning it. My bad. But, again, we're going to put the seasonings that I used below. And also, you know, I give all my meat massage. So we're going to massage the salt, pepper, the jerk seasoning on there. All right, y'all. I also use jerk seasoning dry and I use jerk seasoning that came in a sauce. You can get it right from the market. And of course, I use some minced garlic and then I set that in the refrigerator. You know, the longer, the better, the more flavor. Okay. You're also going to need some peppers like this. Okay. Orange, red, um, yellow, beautiful, bright peppers for this. Make sure you cut those peppers up too the long way. This is our water. We're going to go ahead and prep our noodles. Um, I use rigatoni because it's nice and thick and it collects the sauce nicely. I also put oil and some pink Himalayan salt inside of my water um, to keep the noodles from like sticking. You know, um, the oil really, really helps with that. So if you didn't know that tip, go ahead and smash that like button. Okay. What am I doing here? Hmm. I think I'm up in the ante, up in the temperature. Only because it's water. Okay. Do not have your meat on high ever this is a concoction i like to call the holy trinity it has celery it has onions and it has green peppers okay i do mine a little differently i add all three of those things but then i also add in some shallots i also add in some garlic and some minced garlic with parsley and i add some cilantro and basically every herb i can find rosemary basil i put some salt and pepper in that thing all right now i am a herb queen okay so whatever green herb thing you got okay if you smell it and it smells good put it in there all right now this is going to be the herby section of the seasoning because again it's going to be spicy so this part you want of it to be herby now i season each part of every layer of everything and i also put olive oil in that bowl to make the seasoning stick to that um holy trinity here you can see that the holy trinity is already in the pot i put some in there because again we're going to put that in at every step i cut all the peppers up you know like the long sexy way they're all bright and sexy we're going to put them in the pan as well you're using olive oil to coat that pan um, and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put a top on it baby again once you take those onions out you want to put some more of that holy trinity that you got back into the pan um, from like the bowl or the cup that you used to collect it in all right now these are the peppers after this is what they look like after you have sauteed them they are absolutely stunning do you hear me beautiful now your kitchen's going to be smelling so good right now now we're going to go in the refrigerator and we're going to get those jerk mush rooms now this is what we really took our time with you wanted to season that on every single level that you can okay dry seasoning saucy seasons again i used a dry smoked jerk seasoning i also used a wet jerk sauce um to marinate that in salt pepper of course i had to get my go-to's are garlic um Hmm. garlic i use regular garlic i have minced garlic that has parsley inside of it marinating of course i use some cilantro and again i'm a herb queen so i really do go in with every herb that i can find and i massage it on there all the dry herbs i massage it on my meat or in this case our mushrooms i massage it in our mushrooms before i even put the wet sauce on there and then i still massage it and then we let it sit in the fridge 
here we're just going to go ahead and you know put it in a pot stir it around i think at this moment i was realizing my nostrils wow this stuff smells absolutely amazing like guys you have no idea how good this stuff smells um i also had some scotch bonnet peppers that i cut up and i put it inside of the mushrooms again with that scotch bonnet hot sauce so listen use at your own risk because that thing is spicy it is hot on top of the jerk seasons yeah i'm crazy like that it was smelling so good again we put the top on it you want to just let it simmer um, this is about the third time I'm checking on it. Um, you know, I'm just stirring it up so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Getting everything mixed around. Listen, look at all that steam. How about we steam the room? Mm -hmm. I like the way that smell. Hey, hey. Yo, it was smelling so good in here at this point, guys. Like, this is mushrooms, okay? You would never be able to tell. What's happening here? Oh, I'm wiping the camera. <laughs> How about we steam the room? <laughs> now look how beautiful these look. I'm trying to get it to focus in, y'all. I recorded this when I first got my camera. Listen, I have gotten way better. I'm taking photography classes and everything. Y'all can go to my Instagram to check that out at you feeling shy. Now these are the mushrooms. Now y'all look at this. Look how meaty these mushrooms look. And again, I'm going to use it for a rasta pasta, but honestly, you can throw this on some rice. You can throw, like, listen, but whatever you do, make sure you do something to cool it off. You're going to see how I cool it off in a second. Alrighty. So, again, it just looks so beautiful. I was just, like, enamored by it. Like, the sex uphill, baby. Okay? Who said vegan food couldn't be good? This whole meal is vegan, guys. This whole meal is vegan 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 okay so we're just letting the mushrooms simmer i'm a little thirsty i should have brought some water in here i'm getting like excited right now now this is how we're going to cool it down guys the coconut milk okay the coconut milk you're going to put two cans of coconut milk in this yes two cans i know it's going to look saucy you're going to see in a second what i did there <laughs> um but you're going to put two cans of coconut milk in there this is what's going to cool it down you need this coconut milk again this is all vegan but this is going to cool it down because you know if you like me and you put spice in every single layer baby yeah you about to have a food gasm right that's what i call it like listen just gonna stare now it's simmering alrighty so now it's simmering all the flavors are setting in we're just gonna go ahead and keep letting that simmer ooh, 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 ooh. y'all what's your favorite herb hmm honestly I can't make up my mind I think it's a rosemary though um, I always just like use a collection together but drop down below in the comments what's your favorite herb now at this point, how about we steam the room? <laughs> um, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put the peppers that we sauteed earlier into the coconut milk, the mushrooms, and the seasons and everything like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and just turn it down a bit because it's been simmered. So now we're gonna turn it down. We gotta wipe the camera off again because we're here steaming the room up. Ooh, look at that. Again, don't worry about all the juices, all the extra oil. Um, again, at least we're using olive oil, right? <laughs> it's healthy. Listen, mm, and I love to make savory meals. So to get a savory meal that is also healthy, boom, that's all you need. We're not going to use no regular cheese, no Parmesan like you usually would. This is a vegan meal, so we are going to use... Da -da 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 plant-based cheddar okay now this was so good in there especially like once you let it melt i'm telling y'all okay i'm telling y'all this meal right here is going to change your life it's going to change the way you view vegan food what just happened there i don't know well uh, too late to edit that out so <laughs> um but this meal is going to change the way you view vegan food Food, okay. Oh, I was trying to hold the camera and the cheese at the same time, y'all. It's difficult, okay. This is before I got my tripod, too. You see the things I go through for y'all? <laughs> I know you see it. Put the like button up, 
But anyway, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the cheese in. Again, this is healthy. Um, so I'm gonna throw some more cheese in it. Did y'all know that the feeling your brain gets when you eat cheese is equivalent to heroin? Did you guys know that? If you didn't know that, let's talk about it in the comments. Now here we just got it simmering. We're gonna add some spinach because I'm obsessed with spinach. I can't eat anything without some spinach. And yes, um, hit the like button if you grew up in a home with a bag with a bunch of bags in it. Cause I know y'all see that. <laughs> but we're gonna just go ahead. We're gonna add some more spinach. Cause like again, you can never have too much spinach. Like, hmm, y'all lucky I stopped there. Like. <laughs> Yes, look at that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and stir it up some. Stir that thing up. Thing. Look at that baby. Oh my. Y'all, this is vegan. This is vegan. This is vegan. <laughs> I feel like I gotta put extra emphasis on that, okay? You can eat good vegan. You can eat savory vegan. Look at this. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all right those, those are the noodles that you know we took out once they were done we're gonna go ahead and put those in now the reason again why i use rigatoni is because it is so thick and it's gonna be so saucy that the rigatoni is going to yo it's going to collect that sauce up in this little body and it's going to just be the sauciest little shorty you ever seen all right it's going to be so good okay not too saucy not too thick it's going to be this was the end result y'all y'all Y'all, I know, I know you see, I know you see it. I know you see, I know you see it. I know you see it. Oh. Oh my God, I wanted to thank you again. If you are here, thank you. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. And y'all, don't forget to smile every day, every moment.